What's up, everybody? Back again with another reaction. And next up, I got the top 10 Ed, Ed, and Eddie episodes. So, this was actually one of my favorite cartoons growing up as a kid. You know, that it was that and Dexter's Laboratory. So, that being said, let's get it. Prepare yourselves. These are the Ed's greatest misadventures. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Ed, Ed, and Eddie episodes. Thank you, Ed. That's, um, nice. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified about our videos. I like butter toast. We're looking at the funniest, most popular, and most impactful episodes of Cartoon Network's classic award-winning show. Since we'll be delving into the Ed's biggest hits, expect a few spoilers down the line. Ah, that's a rerun. You smell like a gym bag. Number ten. Rockabye Ed. Stop it! <laughs> Ed really needs to stop whatever before bed routine he has because the nightmares he has as a result are damn creepy. <laughs> After suffering a horrific dream where his mother looks suspiciously like Johnny and tortures him by sealing up his mouth and sentencing him to the canker pit, Ed becomes utterly terrified of him. While his fearful reactions are clearly exaggerated, it does remind us of realistic phobias and how to deal with them, which is definitely worthy of recognition. However, we don't recommend stuffing your face in a jar of peanut butter as a recovery mechanism. Oh, and Johnny, no more free-range soybeans either. That's it. No more free-range soybeans before bed. <laughs> Nighty night, buddy. Number nine, Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Jingle, Jingle, Jangle. Parents, who invented them? We were pretty spoiled for choice with all the holiday mishaps these boys had, but what stands out above all is their Christmas special. After sneaking a peek at his presents and not liking the results, Eddie hunts around so he can mooch off another one of the cul-de-sac's residents' Merry Christmases. In the meantime, Double D and Ed desperately try to teach him the true meaning of Christmas. I feel all fuzzy inside, Double D! Tis the season, Ed. <laughs> We're not sure what's better, Eddie finding joy in the spirit of the season or his immediate rejection of it as he tries to steal all the presents for himself. Dragging his two pals into a much more adult-rated version of the classic nativity scene with the cankers. Hey, back! Christmas kisses all around! We ain't talking on the jinx either! Number eight, Ed, Ed, and Away. Looking good is what it's all about, Double D. You just lie about the other stuff. Turns out something as simple as a balloon can be a gateway to a whole lot of slapstick. Entranced with the idea of popping a wandering balloon, Eddie relentlessly pursues it over the cul-de-sac with minimal success. Gotta miss Ed, Ed, as their various attempts fail, the Eds have to come up with even more ridiculous methods of trying to catch it. Can't believe Luckily, it's been Ed 10 is on years. hand to break the laws of physics by tossing random passers-by like rockets and actually turning Eddie into the human helicopter. We're with Double D on this one. In 20 how years exactly since it started. Did you do that, Ed? Remind me to ask you how you did that, Ed. Come here, you sack of hot air! Number seven. <laughs> Sorry, wrong Ed. <sighs> Eddie isn't exactly the pinnacle of goodwill and selflessness, and he's done some pretty debatable things over the course of the show. But even he didn't deserve this much bad luck. After getting stuck with a phone that Rolf believes is cursed, Eddie is plagued by misfortune that often results in painful consequences. Yellow? In his desperate attempt to rid himself of the phone, he only ends up making things worse for himself. Way Ooh. worse. It all culminates in some of the most inventive and hilarious slapstick, though, as Eddie is endlessly pelted with everything from hippos to lightning. <laughs> Hippo! Number six, one plus one equals Ed. Why does goo float? Hit the road! <laughs> <laughs> the lives and antics of the Eds weren't exactly constrained by realism. There wasn't anything that really crossed the line between normal and fantasy. That is, until this episode, where everything went completely off the wall in all the right ways. <laughs> Look at me! 
head. You seem to have stumbled into another dimension. In an effort to understand how everything works, the Eds end up going on a surreal, psychedelic trip where they break every fourth wall imaginable. Ed eats the sun, Rolf grows three heads, gravity is destroyed, even Sarah's mouth is pulled off, much to everyone's delight. In the end, we're left wondering whether they imagined it all, but the journey is nevertheless a colorful collection of madness that is a joy to watch unfold. And we'll be up to our next in Jawbreakers! I love chickens, Eddie! Number 5. Once Bitten, Twice Ed. Now eat your mattress! Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yum! Eddie seems to have misunderstood the saying that says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. After a particular scam nearly succeeds, he decides to recycle the formula over and over and over again. You know what they say, Eddie. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. Of course, everyone, including Double D and Ed, gets sick of Eddie retreading water so much, but we don't. Eddie's refusal to change plans and the creativity that goes into each reimagining of the original scam is both impressive and hysterical. To be honest, we just want to see how far this kid will go with his endless tweaking. You can't do worse than Bathroom World, surely. If that's the how to scrub a bowl, then flush on down to Bathroom World! Number 4. Once Upon an Ed See, Johnny's got your number, Double D. This episode not only gives us three tales in one, it also gives us insight into each of the Ed's mindsets. Trapped in Johnny's wall, the Ed's endeavor to tell him how they got there, and the result is three radically different stories. With that, I figured I'd take a shortcut through my lavish estate and pop in on I feel my like every show has had one of those like around his greed and episodes where it's like, you know, like two or three people like tell, the belief that you know, like a story that happened, dream. you know, and except different. Ed. A sweet, deluded Ed, whose story involves radioactive mashed potatoes, giant canker sisters, and a scene of him flying like Superman. We may never know how they really did end up in the wall, but after tales like these, who cares? We have found shelter! We have found shelter! And stuck in your wall we are! Number three, it came <laughs> from Outer Ed. I can't wait either, Plank! Places, people! The show's about to start! What happens when you put Ed in charge of coming up with a scam? Sheer lunacy. After convincing his pals he has a genius idea for fleecing the rest of the cul-de-sac, Ed proceeds to put together a plan that no one can understand. But did you really expect anything else? Double D is forced to carry around a rock all day with no clear destination. Eddie is put through all sorts of shenanigans involving makeup and pancakes. <laughs> Ultimately, it all comes to a head with Ed revealing he was actually creating a curse. This is also where it's revealed that Rolf has a giant clam called Bobo. We are still not over that. Quickly! We must seek encouragement in the bosom of Bobo! Number two, the day the Ed stood still. Hey, useless! Put those rings down and take a load off your eyes. <laughs> It should be clear by now that Ed has a rather overactive imagination, but this episode takes it to a whole new level. Thinking it'd be a funny idea to dress Ed up as a monster, Double D and Eddie accidentally unleash all manner of horror upon the cul-de-sac as Ed gets a little too into character, snatching up the rest of the kids and causing all kinds of collateral damage. I am a monster! <laughs> The scene's taken right out of Alien. This is probably the only time you'll actually find yourself being a little afraid of Ed, especially in that costume of his. But hey, at least Double D managed to score with Naz while taking on the role of unlikely hero. He wants the shit off my phone, Double D! Hold it right there, mister! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> attention Jeff and Geronimo what'd you do that for it's to remind you of your manners Eddie a bracing dose for you two to comply and behave in a socially acceptable manner I've constructed this elevator that I'm sure would be of some help sweet I'll probably hate myself in the morning saying this but going up number one an Ed is born 
Hiya, bro. What's up? It's me, Eddie, all grown up and living the life. Eddie will do anything to prove he's cool in the eyes of his enigmatic older brother. So he decides to make a fake documentary about his highly successful life. And it works out about as well as you'd expect. With Double D acting as cameraman, the episode is presented in an almost found footage style, where they manage to capture just how hilariously painful a day in the life of Eddie actually is. Slow down, Kevin! I was just kidding! Stop, please! Look at him bounce, Eddie's brother! Between Ed swallowing the camera so we can get an up-close and personal view of his digestive system, and Rolf releasing his primal rage about Eddie stealing his chickens, the gags are fast and hit all the right notes. It's simply the Eds at their best. I think your brother's got the picture, Eddie. Yeah, thank Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And one more thing, I like butter toast. Thanks.